For some of those kids that were sitting in classrooms today, they're longing for the days of the pool. Uh, they didn't have too many of those pool days this summer, and of course, their first day back to school for some of them. And it's almost 90 degrees uh, this morning. We had some cloud cover that helped keep the temperatures on a little bit. We had some huge thunder showers make their way through once again the Fox River Valley where they've been hit with storms and heavy rains the past couple weeks. I don't need any more, but they will see another round develop overnight tonight. Those fizzled out after passing through Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties, and we just had the cloud cover here in Milwaukee. The clouds pretty much moved out of here by noon and we've been warming up to the graphics we go and we'll show you for tonight though there is another chance for severe thunderstorms from Fargo to the Twin Cities it's really hot and humid out there plenty of moisture in the atmosphere and then some of those overnight tonight will start moving into western Wisconsin through the central part of the state and eventually by morning over towards Green Bay and the Fox River Valley once again we could see a few showers here overnight tonight but I think the most of those will stay to the north maybe Fond du Lac Sheboygan Ozaki and Washington counties once again. Tomorrow afternoon, there's a slight chance for some afternoon pop up showers or storms with the heating of the atmosphere. Uh, it'd be kind of like they see down in the south every afternoon during the summer months. But our best chance would be tomorrow evening and tomorrow night with a cold front making its way through the state. Not a cloud to be found. Nice breeze out there southwest at 16, gusting at times over 20. It's 84 degrees, so uh, it's not overly hot, but it is humid. The dew points in the lower 70s, it's steamy outside. Sheboygan's checking in at 90, 89 in Fond du Lac, 90 also in Kenosha. Janesville's at 91. You think it's hot here? How about off to the west where it's 95 La Crosse and Eau Claire also in addition to that very humid, so they have heat advisories and excessive heat warnings for the Twin Cities and pretty much all of western Wisconsin under the advisory through tomorrow with a heat index of 100 to 109 through that time during the daytime hours. For tomorrow, if you're doing some traveling, some scattered afternoon pop-up showers after those morning downpours up to the north of us. We'll be in the lower 90s here from Milwaukee to Madison. 100 is possible out toward La Crosse and 97 Eau Claire. It is humid today. It will be humid once again tomorrow. It's just thick outside. And then once that front slides on through tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, you're thinking, oh, good, we're going to cool down and get less humid a little bit. We're still going to remain in the 80s and it will still remain humid, just not quite as steamy as it has been. Lows tonight, lower 70s with a few isolated showers popping up. A better chance of rain tomorrow afternoon, but once again, not everyone's going to see rain and it'll just be in the lower 90s for your high temperatures. And if, it does, if you do see rain, it just gets more humid. Our best chance for rain, though, is late in tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, as this front does push on through, and we will see some scattered thunderstorms around the region. Here's your seven-day forecast. 93 on Tuesday, 81 on Wednesday, 83 on Thursday, and then on Friday, some isolated showers also on Saturday with highs in the 80s. Those will not be washouts. I know there's a lot of uh, Harley riders saying, hey, 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 there, weatherman. I do not want to upset Harley riders, so no. it's it's hit and miss. <laughs> you better tread carefully, Brian. Yes. <laughs> Thanks.